Cooling towers play an important role in facility management, removing process waste heat through evaporation and providing cooling water to chillers, heat exchangers, and other equipment used for heating and air conditioning. Cooling towers are also an essential component in a cogeneration plant, like the one at UC Davis Medical Center in Sacramento. Okay, this plant was originally put in place to provide clean, reliable, normal power to the campus. And besides that, we use our waste heat from that process to um, chill and heat the campus. And we've got three centrifugal chillers, electrical powered, four absorption chillers, which use steam, that all takes care of the um, campus load for um, cooling in the summer. Cooling towers move thousands of gallons of water per hour, all while open to the atmosphere. Filtration is the best way to keep dirt, rust, scale, and organics from building up and clogging the system. While filtration alone provides ample benefits, it can also work hand in hand with other water treatment programs to increase their effectiveness. We've got a, a chemical treatment program with a, you know, oxidizing and not oxidizing biocides. We've got um, corrosion inhibitors. Um, besides that, we'll start inlet screens for the, uh, um, for the circulation pumps. But basically, the lake system is primarily what keeps the towers clean for any particular matter. I worked at several power plants and that did not have such a nice system without the filtration built in. And basically, once a year, you're taking the tower down to muck out the bottom. It ends up being, you know, three to six inches of mud that people have to physically shovel out with, with shovels and then, then hose the, the rest down the drain. But it's very labor intensive, no one likes to do it, and it's not a very popular job at all.